think it's an important story, stop. Whether or not it needs, whether it's an important story now or not is secondary. The story of the dropping of the bomb on Hiroshima we found in making this project is something that is not known about by younger generations at the moment. Yeah, I feel like the project itself has kind of helped me learn a lot about, you know, what happened. This is some um, deeply informative and I like how th in this case theatre making can be very objective. It's about presenting so many different narratives. Done and done quickly, man as the dominant species on Earth. And in this movie, yeah, for the first nuclear explosion. I really enjoy working with the bubble people here. Uh, each of them has very strong character. They throw out so much uh, opinions and ideas, so. Uh, um, and they, they like working together. I feel a good connection with them, so I enjoyed it. One thing that really stood out for me is that in London Bubble, diversity is strength. It's about people coming in, we're all different, we all have our own you know, strengths to bring to the production, and, but ultimately it's about lifting each other up. I was lucky to go to Hiroshima last year to make a companion piece to this called Grandchildren of Hiroshima and I found there that the survivors of the atomic bomb were militantly pacifist. They really wanted to tell the world about the destruction that had been wrought on their city and really wanted to tell the world this must never happen again. Those people are getting old now, they won't be with us for much longer. This is a critical world story that must be told. So what could we do but tell what happened here? Being involved in, in, in art that is also protest is important because it can change people's hearts and minds. And I think at CND that's what we want to do through our kind of like public profile with demonstrations and leaflets and on the internet and stuff. But I think like seeing this and actually hearing people's actual stories, I think you really feel a connection in a way that you maybe don't get from just like reading a leaflet that someone hands to you on the street. For me, I really enjoy the last scene, you know, the, the story about Sarako folding paper cranes and um, just telling that story. Each time I tell that story, oh, it just moves me. It really, really gets to me. War and all the innocent people being affected by it, you know, and, and it's something so powerful that's still happening in the world today. The cast make lots of connections, they enjoy each other's company, I think, and that spirit of support, supporting each other, looking after each other during performance, translates into the production itself and the way the production is shared, given to the audience. There's a lot of connections that are made and connections are very good for us.